I know a lot of our Songtown members have this pressure to write. They think if they pitch you a song, it's got to be commercial. It's got to sound like what's on the radio. And sometimes I have a hard time conveying the fact that if you're writing what's on the radio now, it's not going to interest anyone because around Music Row, we're hearing stuff that's one or two years ahead of the radio. Most of the time, two years ahead. Yeah. And so it's not, you know, what we're doing now, what's happening now on the radio, it's just not relevant in your writing life. And now that's, I'm not saying, well, don't listen to it because I think, you know, there's, there's different flags that happen in country music as opposed to the different kinds of flags in pop music or whatever genre that you're working in that, that are good to go to have in the back of your mind that, okay, I need to make sure that I'm relevant culturally speaking. Um, but it's it's really all about okay. I haven't heard, a, you know. You think of a great song title, like okay, let's write that. How do we how do we do it differently? How do we what what's the point of view that that hasn't been voiced before? Right. So when people go, well, they all say they want something different, but then you hear what's on the radio and it all sounds the same. But I, I guess what we're trying to say is. It doesn't sound the same. When it was recorded, it was new and fresh and different. But by the time it gets to the radio, there's a lag time. There is a lag time. And as a producer, you're constantly looking for something that's different. Right. 